good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing some brand new wrestling action figures that we got. I think it was a couple days ago or so. Ringside Collectibles posted them up. They were all over Instagram. I think they're very, very interesting figures, to say the least, and we're going to get into them here today. They're not WWE Elites. They are not AEW Unrivaled Collection, but they are some brand new Super 7 figures. If you guys don't know what Super 7 figures are, they are the people that are going to be bringing us the New Japan. Japan figures. So you guys know all the New Japan figures that we have been seeing over the couple last couple years. You know they they haven't hit the market yet. I feel like you know with the pandemic and stuff, I think it really slowed down production on those figures. But you guys know that uh, I think we're supposed to get Okada. We were supposed to get Will Ospreay. We were supposed to get Tanahashi. And then I think even Series Two was supposed to come out that featured Naito and Takahashi and Evil and and Bushi. And it was just a whole deal. You know I think I think that is the case. But they're also making not only only those guys from New Japan, but we're also getting, you know, Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, Brian Myers and Matt Cardona, or, of course, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. So, those are the same people that are making those figures, guys. We have brand new reveals, and they are going to be making the Good Brothers, Brad. We are getting Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, and they look pretty damn good. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I like the way these figures are looking right here. I like the realistic tone they have going on. I like their attires and everything like that. I'm really worried about these figures being really stiff, and they kind Kind of remind me of those, not Jax figures, but you guys remember like the wrestling figure company or toy company, those figures. That's what they kind of remind me of. They're just kind of wonky looking. Like they look good and I think they'd be good for the shelf. I just don't know how well they're going to pose around. I don't know how everything's going to turn out with that. But uh, let's go ahead and just break each figure down, guys. Let's start off with Luke Gallows. Now for Luke Gall Gallows, he is going to be in his full camo gear and it does come with, you know, a bunch of interchangeable hands. It comes with uh, a lot of head sculpts as well and it seems like like with these Super 7 figures, you get a ton of accessories and everything like that. I think their price point is around $40, $45. It may be a little less or a little more than that. But I like what we got going on right here. I like the camo attire and everything. To me, I don't know if you guys are noticing it too, but are all of these figures, did all of them have single jointed knees? I think that's also a case which is going to be really troublesome for trying to pose them around. So these are kind of going to be like old basic WWE figures combined with elites that have really good accessories and pretty good likeness and things of that nature so i don't know we'll have to do some reviews of these guys i really am looking forward to reviewing the new japan guys because you know we've really never had official figures of those guys outside of like statues things of that nature so getting those in here will be really really cool but Lou gallows you guys can see all of his different accessories right there i think that is a, a can of beer he's gonna come with a beer can there with a nice little imagery on it you got four different head sculpts you have the one that comes on the figure which has like a nice goatee like tied in a braid right there but he's got like a grimacing face and then he does have a, uh, a head sculpt that has a hat on you have the other one that's like kind of yelling or whatever and then you have like a straight face Lou Gallows and on top of that on this figure you're also going to get five pairs of interchangeable hands so it looks like he's going to come with fists it's going to come with gun shooter hands more of like relaxed hands it looks like uh mic grabbing hands and then like grappling hands is what it kind of looks like there to me you also have all of his tattoo details all the tattoos look good they look like they were uh actually done like the tattoo Tattoos look realistic. They're not just printed on there. It actually looks like real tattoos, so that's pretty cool there. You also have his camo little singlet deal going on. It's got Doc Gallows on there looking pretty good on the name tag. You got the black tying in with the camo. You have the kick pad slash boots going on with it. I don't know. The only thing I'm fearful of is the articulation on these figures. That's really my only main concern. Of course, you also have the camo packaging with the Beer Ski Talking Shop Champion on the packaging, which looks pretty good as well. So the Lou Gallows slash Doc Gallows figure is looking pretty good. I like what we got going on with that one. But you also have the Carl Anderson figure, which is also pretty cool. So getting into Carl Anderson, uh, I like the attire. The black and white looks really good. All the bullet holes and everything going on with it with the black boots and everything. Black wrist tape. I like the Carl Anderson. I think it looks great. Just like Luke Gallows, you're going to get a, ba a beer can or a can of beer there. You're also going to get four interchangeable head sculpts. It looks like you have more of like a determined piss face that comes out of the packaging. You have like a smirky face which looks very similar to our Elite 56 Carl Anderson. You have a yelling face and then you have like a pissed off face which the uh, the one that's on the figure and then the one that it comes with is very very similar so I'm not sure if those are going to be the same. They look the same. I don't know maybe his eyes maybe he's just a regular blank expression and then the one on the packaging or the one out of the packaging looks like he's more pissed off but just like Luke Gallows he does have all of his tattoos they look really good and stuff. Different style torso of course he's in his wrestling
wrestling trunks. Now, again, you guys can notice on the thighs, they don't have upper thigh cuts, so no thigh cut on these. It does have an ab crunch, it does seem though. Uh, hopefully the, you know, the knee joints aren't too terrible, but just like Luke Gallows, he is going to come with a ton of interchangeable hands, but it looks like Carl Anderson actually comes with six instead of five, but he has like these regular grappling relaxed hands out of the packaging, then he comes with fist, gun shooter hands, like slapping hands, you got the mic holding hands, and then you have like other grappling style hands, so I'm not sure how that's going to go, but compared to the other figures we're getting, like Osprey and Tanahashi and all of those guys, I feel like those guys got more accessories. Now, I'm not sure why that is or whatever, but it is cool. Like, if you had all of these up next to each other, I think that'd be pretty damn dope. I think that'd be really excellent to see all of these up next to each other, and now that I'm looking at more images, it does look like all of these guys are going to be single jointed need and that's not going to be very fun, but they do have bicep swivel, you know, and everything like that, but I feel like compared to other figures, they don't have as many accessories. Like, you get the beer can and everything, but like, Osprey comes with a katana, the championship, different head sculpts, multiple interchangeable hands, he's got the entrance vest and stuff like that, so I don't know, man. I, I don't know. They still look fine and everything, but again, even with Naito, Naito's coming with like a whole damn like WWE shop display of accessories. Multiple championships, multiple head sculpts, you got got the interchangeable hands, you got the t-shirts, you got the hoodie. I mean, this guy is coming with all kinds of ish. So this guy, like these figures are going to be great. So um, interchangeable head, interchangeable hands, IWGP heavyweight title, IWGP intercontinental title, two interchangeable soft good t-shirts, and then the soft goods hoodie. So uh, the Naito figure looks like one of the best ones, no doubt about it. I'm just worried again about all of the articulation. That is literally my only question with these. The uh, ta the Takahashi figure really doesn't come with that much either. He gets a head sculpt and then interchangeable hands. It says he's going to come with a leather jacket uh, also, so that's cool. So he is going to come with a leather jacket that is also, uh, you know, cloth goods and stuff. But I don't know. I think these figures have a lot of, you know, they have a ton of potential. But since they're retailing for $45 on ringside, that is, uh, that's a lot, man. That is definitely a lot. But hopefully they'll be worth it. They You do get a lot of detail in these figures. You do get some pretty cool accessories with these figures but are they going to be worth it in hand we'll have to see but also with you know the Zack Ryder figure and stuff you get a figure of Zack Ryder with the figure of Zack Ryder you get the vest you get the multiple head sculpts and everything like that I think it's going to be hit and miss it's all going to come down to the articulation and I don't know they kind of remind me like of a video game or movie action figures you know they don't really look like real if that makes any sense to me they kind of look like a figure that you would see on the shelf in a movie or something it's like a prop is kind of what they look like which is kind of what similar to what the the little figurines that come with Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins kind of remind me of but we'll have to see you know you really never know how good figures are until you get them in the hand that's just facts um also I wanted to let you guys know that my AEW series number two is on the way I had to contact one of my buds that helps me out and he is actually going to be sending me some that uh you know we made a deal he found an extra set at Walmart so I went ahead put in the deal there so my AEW series two should be on the way collection video should be posted in the next couple days and we should be able to get all of that knocked out of the way and squared away once we get everything going. But AEW Series 2 on the way, some other stuff on the way. Hopefully my Series 3 ships very soon. I don't know where the hell my Series 2 is from ringside, but hopefully that ships soon as well. Maybe I'll end up getting a chase you know, John Moxley or something. We'll have to see about that. I feel like I've been seeing everybody get Chase John Moxley's and Chase MJF's like everywhere, man. But we'll have to see about that. I still haven't gotten a shipping confirmation, but hopefully all of that stuff arrives soon and that we can, you know, get those figures in and do full-fledged reviews on AEW Series 2. Not only that, but also get all the rest of the stuff in there, guys. But I think that about does it. That's all I have for you guys today. Just the images of the Good Brothers from Super 7. And I want to discuss all of those things with you guys. And you guys could let me know what you think of those down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. Go ahead and pull up the old video here. So this shout out is going to go to Owen Play 798 He says, MDT, are you a ketchup or mustard guy? Me, none. Just onions. So you just put onions, onions, you put onions on the hot dog, Brad. So he just puts uh, onions on his hot dog, which is cool with me. I like onions. I think they're great. I don't care if they're grilled, they're sauteed, whatever the hell you want to do, Brad. Onions are pretty damn good. I enjoy onions. Probably one of my favorite vegetables, no doubt. And now I want to eat Chinese for dinner, and maybe that'll work. I'll have to ask the wife. But anyways, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of these figures down in the comment section below. Are they hit, miss, garbage? Are they fantastic? Let me know. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Cross the line
might not be beaten. <laughs>